going to show you the word us and our in reference to God. And this is going to be a kick at the whole oneness modalist thing because this here really refutes that. Because you have a genuine problem when you say God is just one being who basically manifests as different modes. You have a genuine problem when God says us and our in reference to himself. Let me show you some of those verses. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. We see our image, us, is a plurality there. And God is still one being, I'm not, not denying that, but you see a distinction in the Godhead. The Godhead can interact with each other. Genesis chapter 3, verse 22 says, And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil, and now as he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. We see again this thing of us in reference to God. Because it's proving there's a plural, there's a, the God that can interact with each other. You know, you can compare this with Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, baptizing them in the name of, singular. So when God says, let us make man in our image, it's one image, singular, just like it's one name, singular. But there's a plurality, they can, they can uh, interact with each other. Genesis chapter 11, verse six to seven. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and know nothing, or now nothing, will be restrained from them, which they imagine to do. Verse seven. To go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So again, we see this thing of us in reference to God. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Says, I'm getting it real quick. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then, I, then said I, Here I am, send me. So what's the point of this? Well, God is one being. We see that in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. God is one being. However, he's made up of Jesus, who's the body, the Father is the soul, and the Holy Ghost is the spirit. Now, they can interact with each other. We see this in this passage. Let us make man in our image. You know, let us go down. They're interacting with each other. Again, compare this back to Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Baptizing in the, in, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's one being, one name, one image, but it's made up of the Son, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So when he says, let us make man in our image, or, you know, let us go down, it's talking basically the Godhead is interacting with each other, because they can do that. With humans, our body, soul, and spirit can separate. With God, he can separate his body, soul, and spirit. The difference between us and him is that if my body and my soul, or, or my soul, my body, my soul, my spirit, sorry, were to leave my body, my body would just plop down dead, which is with God, his body, soul, and spirit, they can separate, and God can still function like, like with the uh, three parts separate or th three members of the Godhead separate. That's the big difference. But we see one being and you see the Godhead interacting with each other. So this is a good kick at the whole modalist oneness, you know, heresy. Because uh, I'm not modalist, okay? People accuse me of being modalist. I'm not a modalist, okay? I believe there's separation in the Godhead. What I don't believe is that God is three persons and divine essence and all this other unbiblical stuff, the Trinitarians that the word Trinity is not in the Bible either, but all the other unbiblical stuff that Trinitarians have to add to Scripture. Okay, I believe the biblical Godhead, not the pagan Trinity, and not oneness modalism. Okay, both of those those things are false. The biblical Godhead is Jesus is the body, Father is the soul, Holy Ghost is the spirit, three in one, 1 John 5, 7. So don't be deceived by modalism and oneness. It's, it is heresy. I'm, I don't deny that. I'm not a modalist, okay? God bless you. Goodbye.